hi guys welcome back to another vlog i know this is called a milan vlog but i'm actually here in florence i have a lot to fill you guys in on um it's actually about 20 past six in the evening right now i did want to start this vlog earlier today but i have just been I've just been non-stop today and this is the first time I've like properly sat down um, and been alone and been able to get out like my camera and talk to you guys. So I'm going to fill you in quickly now, I don't want to bore you all. But yeah, I'm here in Florence, I'm here for a job, they're shooting tomorrow and then I'll be heading back to Milan tomorrow evening. Originally I thought I would just be coming here, the train was at 10 past 3 this afternoon and then yesterday evening I found out I had a casting um in the afternoon before my train so i was like okay cool i'll head there and then i'll head to the train station and then as i was getting ready for that casting this morning i found out i had another casting before that casting that i had to go to just before one in order to make the schedule for the rest of the day work so yeah i was in a huge rush this morning i got ready super quick and then i had to like rush pack in my case so i hope i've got everything i need i mean i'm only here for a night but i like to bring quite a lot of stuff with me um so i had that casting it was just with the casting director hopefully it went well and then i ran to the other casting which i think was like a pre-casting it was for a certain job so yeah, I tried on a couple of things and that would be so cool if I got that job. It would be shooting on location, it would be really fun to do. Yeah, and then I got a train here, it took two hours to get here. I have a dinner at 8pm tonight and I think a car's picking me up at 7.45 tomorrow morning to start shooting at 9. I've never been to Florence before so I'm really excited to explore. I'm going to try and get out before dinner. Um, or I know they have a rooftop in this hotel so I kind of want to go up to there and see what the view's like but the streets look really beautiful, classic Italian so yeah I think that's pretty much all I had to fill you guys in on I had a really good bagel it's from a place called, I think it was called like Juice Bar um, and it was like a roasted vegetable bagel it probably doesn't sound that appetizing to everyone but it was so good that is the plan, I feel like I can finally relax a bit now and I thought to fill you in on a big part of the day as well I've just got off a call with an agency in New York. I'm looking to sign in New York, so I'm having like FaceTimes with agencies um, and meeting them. So I had that scheduled in at 6 p.m. So once I got here, I had to like change into a casting outfit and do that. Um, and yeah, I think it went well. They were super nice, just as I expected them to be. Welcome to the vlog. Um, hopefully I'll be able to film some behind the scenes of shooting tomorrow. I don't know how much I'll be able to film, obviously, because I don't know when it will be coming out, but I'll show you a bit of the city. Let's get started with this week in Italy. Guys, that roof terrace was unreal. Oh my gosh, that is the prettiest roof terrace. I can't get over how good that was. I definitely want to come back here with friends. That would be so fun. The music was so good. I just always love the music. And the sunset, oh, well, that was the perfect time. But that was definitely the perfect time to visit that roof terrace. Where's my room here? Um, it's definitely a sunset. I just wanna chill now until I need to leave for dinner. I think it's like 20 minutes away. How do I get the lights on? There we go. Yeah, I think the restaurant for dinner is like 20 minutes away, so I just wanna chill for like half an hour and then, like half an hour, 40 minutes and then head off. <laughs> It's the day of the shoot now. It's like quarter past six in the morning. Um, I'm all ready and I'm about to check out and have some breakfast. shooting and we've just come back from lunch. I've changed into my first look for the afternoon. This Dolce and Gabbana look. I think it's going really well. Hopefully the images look good in the end. But yeah I've been super busy like non-stop which is why I haven't been able to film sorry. But yeah I'm gonna get back to shooting now. <laughs> We're on the final break of the day. Um, I'm just going to get some fresh air. And then I'll be on the train home. Okay, guys, I'm now on the train. It has a run for the train. Hi, everyone, it's now Saturday. 
um i'm aware this is like the worst angle and lighting you've ever seen but it's saturday morning as you can tell i'm looking pretty tired and i think i have a bit of a cold i'm a little bit bunged up but i really wanted to make sure i went to like come over today as it's meant to be like the best weather um and i feel like it's going to be the least busy day this weekend um it's easter weekend let me just get a hairband so yeah i'm going to lake como today just to see it um i'm really excited and yeah i'm also aware i didn't really vlog i'm going like an egg i didn't really vlog anything at work or in florence i was in a studio and we were shooting the whole day so it wasn't really an opportunity for me to like keep filling you guys in and vlog and obviously i couldn't like really film anything because i didn't know when the shoot was going to be out but if you follow <laughs> <laughs> a bobby pin just flew out yeah if you follow me on instagram you'll see all the photos there when it comes out i had a really fun day i met some amazing people the images that like the previews i saw looked really cool so i'm excited for this shoot to come out and obviously i got to explore a new city i got to explore florence a little bit it was just such a good experience i'm so happy i got to do it we had to like run for the train back yesterday i think i filmed a bit in the toilet on the train and i was just delirious i was so exhausted and hungry and tired just wanted to get back but yeah we just made the train otherwise we would have had to wait quite a while for the next one then i had to rush home pick up dinner on the way back literally scoff it down and head to the supermarket before it shut at 10 p.m because like i said it's easter weekend this weekend so i didn't know what the deal was with supermarkets i knew i wanted to go to like como today so i'd pretty much be out like all day today and um, if i didn't get the chance to go to the supermarket then I wouldn't have any dinner for like Sunday, Monday, and I also wouldn't have had any breakfast for today. So anyway, enough of the boring stuff. Um, I'm heading to Lake Como this morning. I booked a 9.43am train. So I set my alarm 7am and I'm super tired, but it's going to be worth it. I said there might be like an hour or two of rain, so I wanted to get there a bit earlier um, and try and see it in like the sun and see if i can catch a ferry in that before it gets too busy hopefully i'm just gonna finish getting ready a little bit and then i'll pick this back up when i'm leaving i'm now ready to go to lake como i don't really know what to wear the mornings always start off a little bit chillier but it's meant to reach like 22 today i was debating um whether to wear this green shirt instead of my denim jacket but i thought by the lake it might be a bit breezier and if i get on like a ferry it might be open and a bit colder so I opted for a denim jacket and I can always take it off. I've just got this Zara men's t-shirt underneath and my Zara denim jeans. And then just comfy trainers to walk about in. I have to get the metro to Milan Central Station, which is only like two stops from me, which is super close. And then it's only like a 40 minute train ride to Como. So yeah, it really doesn't take that long. I'm really excited. And I'll show you guys around when I'm there. I already regret wearing this denim jacket. It's just gone 9am and I'm sweating already i do kind of wish i wore the shirt and not this jacket but hopefully i thank myself later if it's like chillier by the lake but yeah at the moment i'm so hot in the sun i'm not complaining setting i'm just at this place for lunch but who is using this mirror oh my god this is so funny why is it like tilted down but yeah i'll show you the scenery outside it's so pretty this is the little spot i found for lunch it's so cute like it's such a good find you can like some bake around here have some food here <gasps> so pretty yum lunch is here i got Chachio Pepe or Chachio Pepe, not sure how it's pronounced, but it looks so good. This is the restaurant I had lunch at. How pretty is this? And like all the tables and that are on the other side of the restaurant. Guys, I just found the cutest little hidden set of stairs and it leads down to this.
watching the vlog. Yeah, I just finished up lunch at that place like next door um, and sat there for like an hour after and just enjoyed the view of the lake. It was so nice. The person was quite rich though. I love the breeze. Here's what I'm currently looking at. How unreal is this? And the water is so clear. Look at it. I just cannot get over how stunning this place is. Everyone else just that discovered that spot after I was walking up from it. I think I've reached as far as I can walk over here. I'm so glad I bought this dinner jacket though. But it's definitely breezy up by the lake. I'm not gonna lie, I think I got my phone. So stunning. Imagine like living in one of these. This is a house or a villa, I'm not sure, but imagine living right on the lake. I was watching videos before I came and it said George Clooney actually has like a massive house on this lake, like a big villa or something, um, and they film a lot of films here as well. I mean, I understand why. Okay guys, I found another set of stairs. This kind of looks like houses, but there's nothing to say that it's private. Oh my gosh, it goes up a lot. Let's see where this leads. Okay, I've just climbed a few steps higher and look how nice the view is how unreal it's so peaceful up here as well i think it's so busy everywhere else because it's the weekend and it's easter but like oh, it's so peaceful let's see what else i can find okay this is the view now i'm getting higher up i have no idea where i'm going um i think it's quite residential around here but i found a really nice view of the lake i found an even more stunning view Wow, I think where I was earlier is like over here um, and I'm just a lot higher up now. I love how sparkly the water is and I must have an amazing view of the lake up there. Um, but yeah, I'm just a bit higher up on the actual roads. I think like parallel to the lake but yeah, just higher up like oh, gorgeous. Finally got my first ice cream here in Italy. Um, I got white chocolate and banana with chocolate chips. <gasps> so excited. And just like that, I'm back in Milan. It's about 10 to 6 now. I've just got back. I literally had the best day in Como. Nice to get like a change of scenery and to be able to see places you've never seen before. It's just absolutely unreal so many little hidden spots and i know there's so much to explore over there um i might actually go back another day and see like more of the little towns around the lake yeah i feel like there's so much more to see but i definitely recommend going if you ever come to like visit milan and you get a spare day definitely take the train there it's so worth it and the travel so cheap there's like four euros something to get there and also like i thought eating there and stuff would be really expensive but the food was so reasonable my pasta was like 11 euros and and the ice cream I had for like two scoops, it only came to like two pounds. So I'm just gonna put on some comfier clothes and chill for the evening. I need to cook dinner. I really cannot be bothered, but I'm hungry, so. And I'm also not sure if I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. Tomorrow's Easter Sunday, not that I have any plans. But I think I'm literally just gonna chill, probably do like a bit of a tidy up of the apartment and have a nice lay in and just take it really easy tomorrow. I'm feeling a bit bunged up. You can probably tell by my voice, so. Tomorrow will be like a proper chill and rest day. So I'll pick this vlog back up at the start of next week and we can see what we get up to. Hey guys, it's now Monday afternoon. Like I said, I just had a really chilled Sunday. I was catching up on sleep. I had a little tidy of the apartment, cooked dinner. I had quite a slow morning this morning as well. I um, just took it super chilled. I did a workout as well, which felt good, but it was hard. I did like an abs and hit um, Pamela Reef workout. And then I showered, I put the dishwasher on, which you can probably hear. And now I'm about to head out. I need to do a Zara exchange. And it's such a nice day out. The sun's shining, it's blue skies. So I didn't just want me stuck in my apartment. So I'm gonna walk to the Zara. The Zara I got them from is about like a 50 to an hour walk, which I don't mind doing because it's such a nice day. But there is a close to Zara, so I'm gonna stop there first. It's about 20 minutes away and see if they have the trousers to save myself the extra long journey. And then I think I might need to pick up some more groceries on the way back. It's also bank holiday Monday, so I'm hoping the shops are open. Um, if not, this is going to be a massive waste of a journey. Uh, the forecast actually says it's meant to rain from like Wednesday or Thursday until the end of the week or the start of next week, which is 
a shame. Um, so I'm just trying to get out and about while the sun's out and make the most of the warm sunny weather. Guys, how nice is this top? It's giving me major Jacqueline's vibes. It's from Zara. I'm definitely gonna have to order this to home. I was gonna get this one, but there's no tag, and I don't know if they're gonna be funny if I need to like take it back. I also want this crop blazer to go over top. I love this style of stuff. It's like very Jacqueline's, very like linen holiday vibes. So sad they don't have the trousers though. Oh, I've got some food shopping, but they don't have the trousers in the Zara. I don't know if to go and take my food shopping back or head to the next Zara. Mm. Also, okay, I've decided to head back to the apartment now. Sorry about the really dark lighting. You're currently back in the kitchen cupboard. But that was kind of a fail. I didn't have the trousers in the closest Zara and stupidly I did a food shop before going to Zara. So yeah, I couldn't really go to the Zara that was like another half an hour away because I was scared my food bag was going to break and I wanted to unpack the stuff. So I think I'm just going to go to Zara another day. Um, I think it's going to get like too late if I go tonight because I want to get up quite early tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but I got some dates. I've never tried dates, but I've seen people say that they're good like snacks. I'm not normally like a dried fruit kind of girl. I assume they're dried fruit. <laughs> oh, it smells vinegary. Oh my god, I'm kind of scared. If it's going to taste like raisins, I don't mind raisins. It smells vinegary. I don't know if that's normal. They just taste like raisins. That's actually not bad. I'm glad I like them because I have this big pack to get through now. i got some stuff for dinner tonight. I'm going to make fajitas again, I think. But yeah, I think I'm just going to stay in now for the rest of the day. I'm glad I did get out to get some vitamin D and some fresh air. I kind of feel like staying in and just chilling. I'm going to edit like my Jamaica VHS video. I'll vlog tomorrow morning before I have my go and see. Good morning, everyone. It's now Tuesday morning. Back to a normal schedule. I've got a casting this morning and then I need to stop by the agency to like sign some paperwork and that. But I thought I'd show you my outfit as usual. It's giving me major like waitress vibes but i think it's fine so i've got these black trousers on from asos my normal black boots i've got a white vest on from zara and this cropped shirt from bershka i believe it's inched in a bit at the back there's like this elasticated band it's gonna be quite warm out today i think around like 21 22 so i can always take it off if i get too hot i'm about to leave in about 10 minutes to catch the bus to go to the casting i might meet my friend amy as well for some lunch afterwards i think we have like a similar schedule for today which is nice so that is the plan for today yeah hopefully the casting goes well <laughs> Let me just get the a cute photo before, because I cannot multitask. Okay, my hair is looking super puffy from the wind, uh, but I've just finished lunch with my friend. Uh, I had the casting this morning. I'm not sure if they liked my hair that much, but I'm about to get the train now to the agency just to catch up with them and sign some things. I had the yummiest lunch with my friend. It was at a place called Bowls and More, I'm pretty sure. There's so many dishes on that menu I want to try. And I've just finished in the agency. I'm in the lift down. I've signed everything, had a catch up, and now I'm going to do my Zara return. It is now much later, as you can tell, it's getting dark. And I'm doing pretty much my daily run to the grocery store at this point. I need to pick up some bits of breakfast, because if I don't do it now, I'm going to hate myself in the morning. And then yeah, I think I've got a pretty free day tomorrow, so I will vlog if anything goes on. Breakfast stuff has now been purchased, I'm just walking back to the apartment. I actually got the last pint of blueberries, so that was very lucky timing. Although not so lucky timing with the bananas because there was only like super ripe ones left. But I've also just realised tomorrow is only like the last day of this vlog. Um so I might extend it. Okay, good evening guys. It's now Wednesday evening. I'm running so I'm so scared. Okay, anyway, as I was saying before that weird sound went off, I still have no idea what that is. Yeah, I'm going for dinner with my friend tonight. I just thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing. This was the best I could come up with. The bag doesn't really go, but it needed a shoulder bag. So I've just got a black roll neck on, a black jumper, my khaki cargoes, and these Nike trainers, which I don't love with it, but they're the only 
kind of trainers I have. We're going to like a sushi restaurant, so it should be super nice. Um, we're meeting at seven, I might be a little bit late. So yeah, I'm gonna head off now. Hopefully I don't need a jacket because I don't have time to think of a jacket to pair with this. Just been chilling pretty much all day. I woke up with really bad um, stomach cramps. I had my period today, so I just took it as like a really chill day, which I needed. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head out now. Okay, ignore the fact I look literally crazy. Like, what is my hair doing? I've just got out the shower. We've got post fuzzy shower hair going on, but I've just spent the morning doing the most boring tasks, like sorting out like tax certificates that I need to work here in Italy. I just did an arm workout and showered, and I wanted to quickly try. I'm not sure if I told you guys, I got some more stuff from Zara. Like, every time I go in there, there's different stock, and I go in there regularly, regularly 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 here i go in there very regular here and i just keep seeing more cute stuff i bought these pieces trying at home i don't know i'm not 100 percent convinced i'm not 100 percent convinced the colors go together although i don't know how they don't because they're both neutral it's just for summer i think it's quite dull but i love like the style of it so i thought i'd show you guys i'm not sure if i even told you i bought these or whether i did vlog in the changing rooms or not okay at least you can't see um, you can see the tops. This is the style of top. I mean, yeah, I don't have anything like this really. The back is really cute as well. This is a size extra small and it is actually very baggy. Um, I did want it slightly oversized, but I just have to be careful like, leaning forwards in that because it is quite loose. I'm not sure if the colour washes me out though. Maybe when I'm a bit more tan, like I'm kind of losing my tan, it might look better. It'll be easier to show it in the mirror. This is the skirt. Yeah, I think we all know I'm obsessed with this type of waist. Ruched here, and then there's a slit. And these extra pieces of material. This is what the back looks like. The feel of the materials is super similar. A nice to look for summer, although it is dull colours, that's the only thing. I think I might prefer they had the skirt in like a cream, but I could only see it in black. These don't have to go together in an outfit. I feel like there's stuff in my wardrobe I could mix and match them with yeah you know when you're kind of annoyed you like something because you was planning on like taking it back and like getting that money back seeing it back in your account okay i'm just gonna quickly make myself look a tiny bit more presentable i'm not doing makeup or anything but like fix my hair a little bit um and change outfit and then i'll let you know what i'm up to today okay i'm now ready to head out for the day i need to actually head back to zara i'm gonna walk though so it take me like an hour and i just need to get some like normal household bits i need to get another shower gel yeah i'm not in any rush today really i need to do some more like admin stuff when i get back i'm just gonna have a nice walk put my earphones in and listen to some music and just yeah enjoy the streets of milan and i'll show you if i buy anything <laughs> stopped off at this cute little cafe and it has a really good vibe like good music it's really nicely decorated i had the yummiest cupcake i've ever had in my entire life that's a big statement but it was like it was so soft it was so spongy and it had like a strawberry jam filling it was so delicious but now i'm going to continue walking um i think i've got about 20 minutes left maybe like 15 20 minutes left until i get to the zara um, i've just been wandering in and out of shops as well okay guys it's now time to end this vlog it's now sunday so it's been a bit longer than a week um but i thought i'd end it here to keep kind of like my late como and relaxing week separate this week i've pretty much just been chilling doing the same sort of things each day um doing like a workout and then any other like non-modeling related bits i've just been getting done but yeah it's now sunday morning i'm actually heading out to breakfast so if you want to see where i go make sure you watch the next vlog and also in the next vlog i've got a really exciting work trip happening um i'm traveling somewhere else in italy for it for a few days i haven't been vlogging the last couple of days i've just been pretty much chilling nothing much to vlog thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one bye